Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and welcome again to another FPV flight tutorial video. Today we're going to talk about what I like to call returning to target. Uh, you know, kind of like when a, an attack helicopter, you know, does a gun run and then it kind of swings back around towards its target. Um, and it, this isn't really a trick, but it's just something that I think is useful to specifically focus on and practice. So let's hop into liftoff here. And we have our same uh, setup, the Ladrib Skyliner, same rates and stuff that we've been using throughout this tutorial. And we have about, oh, let's see. Well, we could do it with some low camera tilt, but you know, we'll actually, let's bring it up a little bit. Let's bring it up about, about 25 degrees camera tilt. And all we're really talking about here is, um, it's it's kind of like it's kind of like a turn base it's it's a turn basically it is just a turn but the idea is we're just flying back um kind of back a, it's almost like an orbit and a turn so the idea is for example let's fly through this gap and then we turn around and we fly back through it so it's kind of like a it's kind of like a sharp turn and it's this way we can fly past something and then fly back to it and you'll just find yourself doing this all the time just as a as a matter of you know maneuvering your quadcopter to fly around but i think it's kind of it's kind of useful to specifically practice this um because it will sort of play into some other um other kind of moves and tricks that you can that you can do so i think one of the things is like you want to because it is essentially just a sharp turn um and what you want to do is you want to give uh, throttle, uh, uh, um, increase the throttle as you're turning. And so the sharper you turn, the more throttle you're going to need to stop yourself from kind of floating backwards. So like if I did it like this, see how I'm kind of floating backwards, which might look cool for certain tricks, but if I want to really quickly like return back to this hay bale and kind of keep it in the center of my uh, screen, I want to sort of pitch forward, um, roll, and so kind of do a, a coordinated turn, pitch forward, roll, yaw a little bit in the same direction. So moving my left and right sticks in the same direction, uh, but varying amounts depending on how your rates are set up, and give it some throttle. So the more I pitch forward, the more throttle I will need to apply. Just practicing that, it's like a very sharp coordinated turn, and also what it's going to it's going to change depending on how much up tilt you have so if i have like 45 degrees of up tilt then i'm going to need to use a lot more throttle when i am turning sharply in order to maintain altitude so you can see i'm going so much faster and partially because because i'm going so much faster i have so much more momentum so i'll need to apply more throttle in order to kind of keep my quad uh, close to whatever I want to turn around if I'm turning around an, an object or to just sort of keep keep myself from floating away so I need to like turn sharply and add a lot more uh, add a lot more throttle very suddenly just like a little burst a little burst of throttle to really get me around that and wow look at that I would have I would have totally hit myself in the head there if that was actually me in the goggles there but that's what makes it exciting, right? So again, you just kind of, it's, it's good to practice like around a tree or something um, and just getting the feel for how much roll you need to put in there and how much pitch and power and all this stuff. It's just a big, just a big balance. See there, I kind of overshot it. So it's very common to, to either overshoot, well, to overshoot um, and like sort of kind of overcorrect, I guess. Uh, so when you do the turn, it's like if you put in too much roll, then you end up pointing pointing uh, more um, inward. I guess you rotate too much is basically what I'm saying. So then you have to correct and go back the other way. If you don't have a lot of camera up tilt, you will need to use more yaw, more yaw in order to sort of swing the tail, the back end of the quadcopter around. So let's, let's, uh, let's bring down the up tilt to like, I mean, let's do something like 10 degrees, so like very little amounts of up tilt. So in this case, our quadcopter is more flat, so we need to put a lot more yaw. See my yaw stick there in the little diagram at the bottom of the screen? That is, that I'm going to have to put way more yaw than pitch. Um, 
And I talk more about that in my video specifically talking about high versus low up tilt and the, the differences there. So that's just something to keep in mind. Go ahead and practice that. And I think it will really help for a lot of the, the tricks that we're going to learn um, and really just helpful for when you're flying around being awesome. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your time. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this, let me know. Leave me a comment. And if you have questions about these tutorials or, or, or tutorials you'd like to see, leave me a comment and uh, maybe I or someone else will be able to help you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon.